Today I'll show you how I painted the unmade for the Warcry teams. I started things off with a two-tone dry brush, starting with neutral gray and then finishing with parchment, and then applied a uh, very fine grit sand to the base. All right, so we're gonna start things off on the model with some Basilicanum Gray. This is going to pick out a couple of the rocky features on the base, as well as all of the weapons and the chains that are on the model. Also, I apologize if the video goes in and out of focus a little bit. I was having some trouble with the autofocus on my camera. Now we're going to do a light coating of Raiklin Flesh Shade on all of the exposed skin areas. I wanted the model to have a very pale complexion, so I decided to try this out and it worked out very nicely for a nice uh, pale skin tone. Next we're going to paint the uh, cloth uh, fabric sections with uh, Space Wolf Grey. And then using some Retributor Armor, I'm going to paint the headdress and a couple of very small details. Now using some Glum and Flesh, I'm going to paint all of these little, uh, I'm going to call them skin wraps around the model. And then some Flesh Terror is Red is going to pick out a couple of details on the pauldrons. Now using some snake bite leather, I'm going to paint the leather belt and the straps for the sandals. Now using some aggro dunes, I'm doing a medium layer over all of the sand on the base. And then using some skeleton horde, I'm picking out a couple of the bony features. Finally, I'm going to use some Balthazar Gold. This is going to pick out a lot of the smaller details as well as all of the detail sections of this kind of a stone rubble debris that he's standing on. This will help give a nice uh, contrast to some of the other darker and brighter sections of the model, giving a nice uh, kind of middle ground coloration. It's also a great way to break up some of the monotony that the overuse of Basilicanum Grey can cause. Now I'm doing a kind of a medium dry brush of Warplock Bronze. Uh, this is going to go over the uh, Balthazar Gold on the uh, base. And then do a dry brush of Lead Belcher over all of the metallic sections, as well as the uh, metallic section of the base. And here we are with the finished team. Alright, these were a very interesting set of models to paint. They definitely have a creepy kind of dark chaos vibe to them and I kind of like it and I like the way that they turned out. So thank you everyone for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comment section, let me know how I'm doing, and we will see everyone next episode.